I don't like being too comfortable. <laughs> Once you get used to it, it's hard to give up. I'd rather stay hungry. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. I have given every single thing, every ounce of my life to this craft, to perfecting my craft, and I continue to do so. And in the process, I have lost my mind to regular society, to people who wake up at 9 a.m., who clock out at 5 p.m., they would look at me and say, I've lost my mind, but me, I have found it. You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. Those of you who are listening to this, whoever hear this, you will not find it. I was trying to look for it everywhere. The only way you find it is to drown yourself in a position where you're just out of sorts, where you can't swim and you're drowning, where you're drowning. You're drowning in life. But you say, you know what, man? Fuck that. I'm gonna figure out how to fucking backstroke or fucking something. And I used to look for courage. I thought courage was a man who won the Medal of Honor. It is. But courage is a man who's willing to put those boots on every single day of his life to go out there and fight for this country where nobody even knows what the hell they're doing or where the hell they're at. You do it for the man beside you. Your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand it's you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. Here's the truth. This is the reality, okay? Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's gonna come and celebrate with you until you've already done it, all right? The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're gonna have to work for a long fucking time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're gonna get a little belief, all right? And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna believe. You're gonna believe a little bit. And then what's gonna happen? You're gonna go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. The results are gonna come more. More people are gonna believe, all right? Nobody fucking believes in you because you haven't done anything yet. You be that warrior in that garden. All right, and you stand strong, you be a strong man, you be a good man, and you just let the world rage around you, all right? Fear is our body's way of warning us that we're about to get hurt. It's a defense mechanism, it's natural. So first thing I wanna say is, uh, fear is not something to be ashamed of, to be afraid. Now where we start having a problem is where we let that fear control us. Courage is not an absence of fear. As John Wayne said, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyhow, all right? So there comes a point where you just have to have courage and you have to go. Fear is, fear is not abnormal, it's nothing to be ashamed of. We are afraid of what we don't understand. That, that's where fear comes from. If we don't understand it, then we don't know in what ways it could hurt us all the different ways it could hurt us, and we don't know how we can control that. If I didn't give up my fear of being, you know, of being in the water, I'd never be a seal. I'm gonna be up here right now. I have no story to share. By me saying, okay, man, I'm afraid of the water, and that's kind of shackling my mind, it's by facing those things, that's how you open up different doors of your life. Because all these things that, that we're afraid of, they're doors that can possibly lead you to a whole other world but we keep them shut for fear, for insecurities. And that's what thing about tripping down on your weaknesses, so then those weaknesses end up becoming your strengths. When you have to contend with something, when there's something that you're afraid of, right? Step into it, move towards it. That, that's how you're gonna solve that problem. You don't, you don't solve problems by running away from them. You solve them by moving towards them and figuring out what's going on. The best way to contend with, with problems, with issues, with adversity is action, is by taking action. And that was it, I just packed it in quick and then focused on training. And that's, 
I knew, I knew, I knew what was going to happen. I knew I was going to get here. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. Do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. It's time to stay focused, man. Chase your dreams. You can do whatever you want. Just go to work. Go get it. Focus. You can have whatever you want. And I manifested this. I used to be in my bedroom watching Narwar interview the artists I look up to. I get chills thinking about it. Narwar is someone I grew up on. And I always said, one day I'm going to do a Narwar interview. I said it, and it happened because I wanted it to happen. The skinny bean pole of a young man walked over to me and said, Hi, Mr. Kraft. I want to introduce myself. I'm Tom Brady. I said, I know who you are. You're our six-round draft choice. And I always remember he looked me like a laser eye to eye, and he said, that's right, and I'm the best decision this organization has ever made. You gotta understand the amount of motherfuckers that said it's a waste of fucking time, I'll never be able to do it. The amount of motherfuckers that'll tell you that you can't do something because they can't imagine themselves doing something. Bro, do not let anyone tell you shit, bro. Do not let anyone tell you anything, bro. You can literally do whatever the fuck you want!